go ahead and do a thought for the day. So here's the deal. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we Homeboy is 35 years old. You know, in the early days it was jobs, jobs, jobs. Nothing stops about like a job. And then we realized, yeah, it's really about healing. And, and But how do you measure healing? What is the mark and measure and sign? How do you know? What's it look like? And so part of it is... Uh, you know, when you become resilient and you become sturdy and, and uh, you let love live through you and you discover your true self in love. And, and then, you know, you leave here and, and the world will throw at you what it will, but you won't get toppled by it. But they're like little signs. Part of the thing is to be attentive to the signs. So I got a text message the other day from a homie and uh, he said, this reminded me of you. And so it was a little cartoon, and in the cartoon, like from a magazine, it had Santa Claus and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And the two of them are ice fishing, so we don't really know what that is. It's like in Minnesota, and like when a lake uh, freezes over, they cut a hole in the ice and they have the fishing pole on the line, ice fishing. So there's Santa, he's sitting on a stool and he's ice fishing, and, and he has his back to Rudolph, who's some feet away, and Rudolph is sitting on his stool, but he's using his fishing pole to kind of try to poke through the ice because, you know, the, uh, the hole is uh, freezing over. And he goes, Santa, my ice hole is freezing. <laughs> and Santa says, language, which reminded him of me. So uh, I wrote back, uh, hilarious. And then I said, uh, well, it's June. Why are you thinking Christmas? And he wrote me back and he said, I don't know, I guess I'm starting to like Christmas now. Which I thought was interesting and I thought, there it is. Uh, that's the sound of healing, where things thaw and you go, yeah, I'm starting to see something differently. Also yesterday a homie said to me, I'm just trying to become a better man. I said, don't, because you couldn't be better. You couldn't be one bit better. Of course, the, the journey is to discover that you couldn't be one bit better. So don't strive for that. Just try to see, you know, what God sees and what the rest of us see in you. Uh, so it reminded me of a homie named Robert many, many years ago who uh, worked on our graffiti removal crew. And, you know, he ran away from home at nine and he was tortured and terrified by home and it was violent and horrible and um, got into trouble, joined a gang, went to prison, found his way to homeboy. And after a long Christmas break he came in and uh, I called him in because I was curious about what did he do for Christmas knowing he didn't have family and I said, so what'd you do? Oh, I was just home, you know. I said, by yourself? He goes, oh no, I invited six guys from the graffiti crew who like me didn't have no place to go. And he named the guys Half of them were rivals. And I said, well, what you do? He said, well, you're not going to believe it, but I cooked the turkey. Oh. And I said, wow, that's impressive. How would you prepare it? And he goes, well, you know, ghetto style. <laughs> and I told him I wasn't familiar with that recipe. And so he said, well, you rub it with a gang of butter, and you put sal and you mon, and taste it proper. <laughs> I said, wow, that's impressive. So what else did you have, you know, besides turkey? Well, that's just it, just turkey. <laughs> yeah, the seven of us sat in the kitchen staring at the oven waiting for the turkey to be done. <laughs> did I tell you it tasted proper? I said, yeah, you mentioned that. And then I kind of shifted gears. I said, hey, how'd you get to be like this? How'd you get to see? I know what you've had to carry, and it's, more than I've ever had to carry. How did it happen? He said, you know, I always suspected there was something of goodness in here, but I couldn't find it. Until one day, I found it. Right here. And then his eyes filled up with tears, and he said, ever since that moment, I've always known who I am, and nothing can touch me. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm starting to like Christmas now. Amen. Yeah.